Who would have predicted this? These are two teams that were really bad not so long ago. And here they are in the World Series. This is why I love baseball. You never know who will be the last team standing. You can't just say, oh, it's going to be Dodgers and Yankees or whatever. You never know who it's going to be. And in this case, the Texas Rangers, who've been trying to improve for years, they signed Corey Seager. They signed Marcus Simeon a couple years back. Then they improved their pitching this year, and everything came together. They had an amazing first half, had a little dip in the second half, but then came back, got in the playoffs, and they have worked their way to the World Series by beating the World champions, the 2022 world champion, Houston Astros, two wins on the road to take it. And that is behind an incredible performance by Adolis Garcia. This dude is an absolute machine. He's crushing home runs, oppo taco. He's pulling bombs. He's doing what it takes. And then, of course, Corey Seager was just awesome throughout this entire postseason. And you got to look out because they have other guys like Marcus Simeon who haven't been that hot who could about be about ready to heat up here in the World Series. But the Diamondbacks are looking like a team of destiny. They also won two games on the road to finish it out. They beat the Brewers. They beat the Dodgers. They just took out the National League champion Phillies. We're talking about two teams who just took out their respective league's champion from last year, with the Rangers taking out the Astros and the Diamondbacks taking out the Phillies. This is going to be a great matchup. The offense for both these teams is really impressive. Corbin Carroll, they both got young guys with Corbin Carroll with the Diamondbacks and Adolis Garcia with the Rangers. And then veterans, of course, like Cattell Marte over with the Diamondbacks. And of course, the Rangers, some of the guys I mentioned like Corey Seager, absolutely amazing. So this is going to be a really, really fun matchup right here. And it starts in Texas tomorrow in Arlington, 8 Eastern, Five Pacific. There you have it. Seven Central. Let's freaking rock and roll. Okay, so this is going to be fun here right now. And uh, neither of these teams had like an incredibly dominant pitching staff. They got their guys, obviously. Zach Gallen, obviously, for the Diamondbacks. Merrill Kelly is going to uh, pitch probably game two, I assume. And then you have the Texas Rangers. Max Scherzer is back. I'm not sure how deep he can go. He pitched a couple innings in game seven. But Montgomery and Ivaldi should be ready to go. But, you know, to me... Both these teams, I feel like, are a little bit stronger offensively. Uh, all the guys I just mentioned, it's going to be so fun to watch and which starters step it up, which don't, which get lit up, which don't. Both teams have some really good names they're going to go to in the bullpen with the Texas Rangers. You got Jose LeClerc, you got Arolas a, a, a Chapman, who's not quite uh, as great as he used to be, but he's still can get up there and he is still very difficult to hit. So uh, they got a good bullpen. And then you have the Diamondbacks with Paul Seawall, Kevin Ginkle, Ryan Thompson. Uh, pretty solid bullpen over there. Pretty reliable. But I think it's so hard to pick because both these teams look incredible. The Diamondbacks were just so fun to watch. I thought the Brewers would take them out. Diamondbacks took care of business. I thought, okay, well, Dodgers, surely I got to pick the Dodgers. If I don't pick the Dodgers, it's going to look totally biased anyway. And let's be honest, the Dodgers, I mean, they should be able to take out the Diamondbacks. Failed. They failed. Then I was like, well, I'll take the Phillies. And it's like, at what point do I finally pick the Diamondbacks? You know what I'm saying? Um, I'd hate to pick against them again when they've proven me wrong about three freaking times. The, the Arizona Diamondbacks are legit. I don't even know who to root for because, I mean, I like the NL West representation with the Arizona Diamondbacks, but I'm also I'm talking about Bruce Bochy, okay? Texas Rangers, Bruce Bochy. And I do have some Texas connections, so I've always liked the Rangers. Um, it's a tough one to pick, but... When the Rangers are swinging their bats like they are now, they just look unstoppable. I think their offense has more potential to go off. I definitely don't see any kind of sweep going on here, but the Rangers do have home field advantage. They have that incredible lineup. They have the pitching options. They're about uh, close to equal with as far as options in pitching. Okay, so Rangers advantage with the starting rotation, and uh, Diamondbacks have a slight edge with the Bullpen as far as regular season stats go, which you can pretty much throw out the window at this point, just going by sense. Like, I, I, I sense that the Diamondbacks are a team of destiny right now. I really do. But I feel like on paper and, and, and on my just baseball IQ, I, I see the Rangers as the team that's going to take, take it all right here. The Rangers just look too good offensively. The lineup is really impressive. I'm not saying the Diamondbacks lineup isn't, but I'm just saying... I feel like the Rangers have the edge in this series. And so that would be my smart pick right there. I think the Rangers are the favorite. 
And that would be my smart pick right there was, would be to take the Rangers. If you made me bet money on it, I would have to pick the Rangers. That said, it wouldn't shock me at all if the Diamondbacks take this one because they look like they're just not going to be beat this year. So I'll take the Texas Rangers to win the 2023 World Series. But let me know what you guys think down in that comment section. There's going to be a fun one right here. I cannot wait. Start tomorrow. And uh, hey, we'll, maybe we'll have some post-game shows throughout this World Series. So look forward to that. And I hope you guys enjoy the, the series. What a crazy season it's been. Hit that thumbs up. Hit the subscribe. We'll talk to you next time.